So today I've got a 2006 Ford 500 and we got to pull the cluster out to change it out. So I figured I'd bring you guys along for the trip and uh, show you how to take it out in case you need to ever get back in there for lighting bulbs or to pull it out yourself to change it out. On the 2005 to 2007 you can change it out and then drive it to a dealer to uh, get it programmed. Whereas 2008 and 2009 Taurus um, vehicles, you must get it done at the dealer because it has the security for the keys in there. So, we're going to go ahead and get started on this. It's a very, very simple uh, removal compared to a lot of our cars. So, Alright, so the first thing we got to do is pull the two screws that hold the trim panel in place for the cluster. And there's one here, and there's one here on top. And depending on your model year, it's either going to be a 7 millimeter or a um, Phillips head screw. Alright, next we're going to actually pop up the steering column shroud here, believe it or not, because it is attached to the cluster bezel. So get a little flat blade screwdriver in here or something like that, and you can pry up on here and separate these two. And after that, you can just pick it up and uh, pop it out of the other side by hand instead of using a tool on both sides. Just pull up on it like that. Then on both sides, right down here, you're going to want to put a cat claw in there or a flat blade screwdriver and pry up. Same thing on the other side, it looks exactly the same. And then you'll see this whole thing wants to start coming out. There really isn't much to it. Like so. The only tough spot on here to release the uh, quick connect is right here. There's a um, push pin type deal and it really gets stuck inside the dash housing here. So just give it a good yank um, on this side. Don't yank from over here, but yank from right here where the source is and you'll get it out of there. And uh, the tangs usually bend on there and I'll show you that. We got it free, so you get stuck on the secondary uh, part right here, but it's out. Pretty much after that, we're ready to take this thing out of here. So we're going to release the tilt column on here. We're going to bring it fully down. We're going to lock it back into place, like so. And then we're just going to start working this out of here. We just need to unclip the in-car temp sensor from this bezel. And there's a little tang right here. Just press up on it. And basically, after you press on that one, it'll just fall out of there. There's nothing to it. And then this whole thing will just lift out of here. Start pulling it out of there a little bit. And then uh, concentrate on getting your vent fully out of here because it sticks in there pretty far. And then uh, this whole thing will come out of here pretty easy after that without even um, dragging on the dash or scraping it. Now we're free and clear, and it's very easy after this. There's four seven millimeter screws, one there, one there, there, and there. Take those out and this whole thing will come right out. Okay, after that, once you get all the screws out, just lean it forward like that, and then uh, come over to this connector. There we go. And then all you gotta do is press down the tang right here, and then grab your gray lever, and pull back and it'll actually lift itself right up and out of there. And then you follow it down and there's one retainer holding it in right here and you just get your cat claw in there and you can pry it out of there. And then you can just lift out your cluster after that the same way you took out the trim piece. Now in the back of the cluster back here these two should be illumination. Those two are illumination bulbs. That's an illumination bulb. That one is. And then these are turn signals. And then these ones are just warning lights. And then going back in, just make sure you get this lined up in here. Push it down as far as it'll go. And then this arm will start coming up. This little hasp here. And then push down the connector while you're pulling this over kind of help it in there until it clicks like that and then give it a little extra push and then make sure your 
uh, retainers pushed in over here so it helps prevent any wiring issues. And then you can just lay it back into there. And after that, the installation is reversal of removal. Very simple cluster to do. So if you got those warning lights and uh, illumination lights on there that are not working, go ahead and give it a try. It's actually really, really easy.